So welcome to a presentation on the high school advanced program at Grant Park High School in Winnipeg, Manitoba in the Winnipeg School Division. I'm Mike Patnode. I'm the head of the advanced program as well as the science department head at Grant Park High School. The program at Grant Park has a long history. It's been around almost 40 years. Um, our goals in the advanced program are to provide an environment where students can be challenged and encouraged to develop a love of learning. They often come to us already as keen students. We want to encourage that. We want them to also learn to reason critically. We encourage them not just to believe what the textbook or the internet says, to challenge their teachers, think for themselves. We want them to develop study skills and habits for future success because students from the advanced program almost always will go on to university um, and pursue further studies. We hear back that the skills that they learned in our program help them two or three years down the road into university. We also want them to learn subject content and skills at a higher level. In grade 9 or 10, they'll learn at a higher level, but in grade 11 and 12, they're actually going to be learning at a university or first-year university level. Besides accelerating their learning, we also focus on widening their learning. So we want to, we want to expose them to things that are not in a typical high school curriculum. So we're not just taking later grade level material and putting it into earlier years. We're doing some of that, but we're also adding a lot of things to enrich the high school curriculum. Our focus in this presentation is on the high school advanced program, which begins in grade 9 and goes to grade 12. But Grant Park is a grade 7 to 12 school, so we have a middle school as well, grade 7 and 8. Many of our students, almost all of our students in the high school program, would have begun their, their journey in the middle school program. In middle school, students take a combination of four advanced programs, courses, and they, they do all four together. So there's a language arts, social studies, math, and science. If they're in the advanced program in grades 7 and 8, they're taking all four of those subjects. They're also taking general level courses in all of their option areas. Now, when they get to high school, they're able to customize some of their learning. We no longer have that same rigidity to their, in, to their subject enrollments. In grade 9, students can decide if they want to do a math science advanced stream, a social studies language arts advanced stream, or if they want to do all four in, in the grade 9 level. And those are the four core subjects. Again, they would be taking general level subjects in all of their option areas. When they get to grade 10, students in our advanced program can now customize their schedule by choosing any combination of our advanced program or our general program courses that they desire. So if, for, if somebody, for example, had a real deep love for English language arts, they could choose to pursue only the advanced English language arts program and take the general level courses in every other subject starting in grade 10. Most students coming out of grade 9 do continue in pretty much a full advanced program when they reach grade 10, but they do have those choices. The program leads from our school-based advanced program to an internationally recognized advanced placement program, the AP program, which says at the grade 12 level, but our students actually begin that in some cases as early as grade 10. Grant Park has one of the largest, if not the largest, advanced placement programs in Manitoba. This program is an international program that was begun and administered by the College Board in the United States. The College Board also administers the SAT exams, which students going to American universities are expected to write. So this is a the College Board basically has a long history of creating standardized exams at the college level. Students complete university level introductory subjects while they're in high school at Grant Park in the AP program. Success on an AP exam at the end of those courses can earn them credit, so they can actually earn a university credit, or standing for first year courses in Manitoba, throughout Canada, throughout the United States. So by completing AP program courses at Grant Park, 
students can actually get a head start on their university studies for future success. I mentioned that our advanced placement program is one of the largest at, in Manitoba. That's because of the way we structure the advanced program. Many schools will offer advanced placement courses after students have completed their normal high school courses. In Grant Park's advanced program, we replace the normal high school courses, say in chemistry, for example, with the advanced placement level course at beginning in grade 10. As you can see, this is the range of AP courses that we offer at Grant Park. The studio art course is sometimes offered to specific students who are gifted in art. We have actual courses in biology, calculus, AP chemistry, computer science, English composition, as well as English literature, environmental science, um, European history, physics. Physics 1 is the title of the AP course psychology, a research course, Spanish language, and seminar. In addition, if students are fluent in some foreign languages, French, German, Mandarin, then we will also offer to administer AP exams in those languages so they can earn possible credit for the languages that they've already mastered. Now, you might think that if you're in the advanced program, you're going to be focused entirely on academics and studies, but that's not the case at all. Students in our advanced program are often the most involved students in normal school life. So our students in advanced program are often also in the band, in performing arts. They're gifted visual art students. They're often on the football team, basketball teams. They're fully involved in athletics, our track program. They take practical arts in their option courses. They're often highly involved in the student council, the student government, student presidents. And they're involved in many, many different clubs. Often they're beginning these clubs, founding them as well. So if you're a student in the advanced program, you definitely have time to be involved in all the other aspects of a normal high school life. Now, if you're interested in applying for Grant Park's advanced program for grade 7, for grade 8, or grade 9, you need to submit an application form, preferably online, although there is a paper version if you request it. And on that application, you would indicate that you're interested in the advanced program. You would be given a letter mailed home that is going to remind you of a date for testing. We test students as part of the process for applying to grades 7, 8, or 9. This year, the testing date is on Saturday, April 24th. We have, we're in a COVID year, so there is some uncertainty about that date. But if it changes, you'll be notified. If the process changes, you'll be notified. Once the testing is completed and we've examined all the application forms, acceptance letters will be sent out by June. If you're from outside our school's catchment area, that might take a little bit later. It might take till the end of June or sometimes even into the summer if you are from out of catchment area. So we have a school website with more information if you'd like to visit. If you're interested in the middle years program, Mr. Kattenfeld is the head of the advanced program in grades 7 and 8. You can email him. If you're interested in more information about the high school program, you can email me, Mike Patnode, and my email address is there as well.